This tutorial is designed to help you uh, diagnose a high pressure leak, one that might be happening from the high pressure connection that comes from the tank, the cylinder, and connects right here on a model 1000 or 1505D, model 600. And additionally, you have the same connection right here on a model 615. And the problem would be that inside of this connection, there's an O-ring that is seated down inside of this connection. And there might be some debris that is caught in that O-ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you, we've actually seated a piece of material, we've placed a piece of material inside this fitting. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the pressure on the cylinder. Here, I don't know if you hear on the video, but there's a slight leak. It sounds like there's a leak that's coming right in, in from this area right here. But to ensure that we know for sure that it's leaked, the best thing you can do is use some sort of leak detector. So we spray just a little bit of bubble check in there. And you can see we've got a uh, some pretty good bubbling going on right there. And uh, there we go. Yeah. So there's definitely we got a, we got a uh, leak there. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut off the pressure on, on the tank and remove the connection. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clean up the fitting there and pull the O-ring out. We're going to do that by placing this probe down inside there. You can grab a hold of that. Sometimes a paper clip will work, a bent pin, but pull that out and we'll wipe that o-ring down with a rag real clean. Now it's potential that the o-ring might be damaged. If the o-ring is damaged it's a size 110 o-ring replacement. Should be one that came spare with your instrument. But additionally the, the debris might, as you can see in this case, um, there's actually a piece of debris down in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow it out with air So if you have some compressed air, that's the quickest, most efficient way to get it clean. And then we're going to take the O-ring and shove it down in there. And it needs to get placed where it locks into the O-ring track. If you don't lock it in that O-ring track, it's still going to leak. So we're just going to slowly kind of work it around. And you'll know it's in there. It looks evenly, evenly placed right in there. You can see right, it's looking down this way. You can't even see the O-ring hardly at all. So then we're going to reconnect. The instrument to that. Make sure the muffler's turned off there. And then we'll pressurize it again. How much pressure do we have on it? Uh, 2,000. 2,000 pounds. Or so you can see now that we've got no bubbling. You can squirt a little more bubble leak detector on there. see perfectly no no bubbles with leaks leaks been fixed so that, that potentially could be a problem not not very often is it but uh, if it is and you need to change that o-ring that's a 110 Funa 70 o-ring that replacement